Hey everyone, welcome to another IV Robotics video. In this one we'll be going over our dispenser mod kit. So this one we have this cap on the side you can remove to load in your payload. Let's do that back on. And then the opening, dispenser is open with a single servo actuating this bar right here. And then there's one three pin connection we'll need to the drone. And that's everything we have on here. Control will be the same as from a recent video we had on flying the drone with a gaming controller. We'll map a couple extra buttons and we'll go through that setup in a minute. If you haven't seen how to set this up, look at the previous video. You should have everything you need there. We'll be flying Develop Air HP, our drone platform. It has this rail on the bottom that the dispenser mod kit can slide onto and then can lock into place with this tab here. The single connection is handled with this side plate here. The three pin will slot into here. And that should be everything we need for the control. We'll go ahead and go to the computer now and get everything set up and ready to fly. So we're going to go ahead and walk through actually setting up your controller to take control of the dispenser mod kit. Let's again be using the Logitech joystick controller, but the same instruction should apply regardless of what you're using. If you need help setting up the controller, see the last video. Similarly, we'll be using Mission Planner, uh, and the install instructions for that will be linked below and covered in the last video. So once you open up Mission Planner, you'll be greeted with this screen. Let's again go to Config, and then the menu will load, and you'll have Joystick set up about halfway down. And if you open that, it should create this second screen right here. You should go and maximize to see better. On the right side, uh, you'll have all the buttons. On the left, you can see the four RC channels from the last video still saved or interested in for controlling the dispenser mod kit, and really any servo or similar mod kit, is these buttons. So first we'll go ahead and assign uh, the channels here to specific ones on the controller. So if you do detect and hit OK, and then press a button on the controller, you'll see it syncs up with what's on the screen. So we're going to do that for button 1 and for button 2. And I'm just assigning these to A and B on the controller. Once that's done, you can see these are synced up here, but they won't actually do anything yet. For that, you need to change this drop-down menu. So if we go here, we're controlling a servo, so we select do set servo, it's the command type, and then open the settings to change what the command does. The servo number corresponds to the aux channel that's being passed through on the PWM. So this is set uh, in the hardware. For us and for any dispenser markets you install, it'll probably be five, uh, but change as needed and then the PWM value that is sent through that channel when you press the button. 900 is correct for opening the Spencer mod kit, so we'll keep that there. And if we check the settings for the second button, let me set that to servo first. In settings, see that's also correct, channel 5 and PWM 2100, which corresponds to closed. So with all that set up, hit save. And that's everything you need, so we're now ready and we'll take this out to the field and fly it. All right, so we're back out at the drone test field with Develop Air and the Dispenser Mod Kit. We've got everything already connected, so I'm going to go ahead and enable the servo. And then we'll go ahead and test it. See it opens and closes correctly. So now we'll disable that for safety. Disconnect it from the drone and go ahead and load up our payload. We'll just be using Birdseed to avoid having to collect it afterward. So go ahead and load that up. All right, so with that filled, I'm going to put the cap back on and we'll mount it underneath the drone, slide it up the rail, lock the mod kit into place, and then we'll connect the servo to the dispenser into the three pin side plate, and then we're good to go. Alright, so with everything set up in the field, we're going to go ahead and fly the mission. We'll enable the controller, we'll go ahead and arm it, and then take off. And once we get up a little bit in the air, we'll go ahead and spin, that A, that open and drop to C. Have to close it, and that is it. Permission to bring it down and go start. Well, that is everything you need to get started with the dispenser mod kit and control it with a gaming controller. We'll have some more mod kit videos coming out, but if there's anything you want to see, just let us know down below. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one.